and obviously bowled a little bit straight to that shorter boundary. So um, yeah, I was just trying to trying to play play good shots to to the balls, and um, yeah, it's just sort of unfolded naturally. At the final drinks break, I think you were about thirty runs behind Kane. You finished up fifty runs ahead of him. Um, just how good did that last fifteen overs or so feel? Like you must have felt like you were doing pretty well out there. Yeah, I guess it's just one of those days where um, you know things sort of fall into place. Um, yeah, whatever shots you try to play, they sort of come off. And uh, I guess for me, when I play my best, it's just when I react to react to the ball and uh, rather than premeditating things. And I guess today was a per- perfect example of that. Is just just playing good shots to to, to good balls and um, and reacting like that. But um, I think obviously building a partnership with Kane was was really important at that stage. Uh, I think we were about eighty for three when, when I did come in and. The wicket was turning a little bit, and um, you know, we're under a little bit of pressure there to uh, to take things deep. So um, for us, it was always just about talking about keeping the rates under eight, uh, keeping the rate under eight for as long as possible, and uh, and we managed to do that. And and you know how quickly it can change out here on a on a ground that has you know some unique dimensions. So um, yeah, it was nice to be there at the end and get across the line. Just lastly, um, <coughs> yeah, since the start of the year, obviously Ross has retired, Martin has you know, been dropped. So you've gone up the sort of experience rankings a bit. Is that something you've sort of felt that now you're really, you know, you and Kane are the two senior bats on this team? Uh, it certainly doesn't feel that way. I think yeah, it's all for me. It's all all about trying to play uh, the situation as best as possible. And you know, I guess in the middle order, it's, you can come in in so many different um, different times, whether it's thirty for three or two hundred for three. So. Um, I guess you know played a little bit now that um, you know you lean back on experiences from from games that you've played in different conditions, and I guess today was one of those times where uh, you know we are in that position to to see the game through. It's about trying to be there at the, re- at the end, so um, yeah, it's certainly pleasing to to be there at the end and and be not out. Have the insight. Oh, congratulations, mate! Fantastic innings. Um, Hundred in the run chase against India. Been there, done that before. Um, What's, what's, what's this romance with India going on at the moment? Any problems? Does it bring out the best in you? Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure. I think, as I said earlier, it's just one of those days where uh, you know things, you know things fall into place and and you sort of get in the zone and uh, and and things work out. So um, yeah, I certainly didn't have intentions of doing that and not really sure where it came from to to be honest. So. Um, I guess I've had a little bit of cricket under my belt recently with uh, you know playing domestic cricket here in New Zealand and uh, with a few four days and a one day um, on Tuesday so I guess the preparation's been nice and, and feel I've been hitting the ball reasonably well and uh, was just trying to focus on being in strong positions and and reacting to the ball and uh, you know it was nice I did that well tonight. And just one last one, um, how's the body kept for 50 overs, come out and score 100, what's the secret of the fitness? Uh, uh, our S and S and C trainer, I think he's he's probably the answer. Um, but yeah, I guess it's important that you recover well. Um, obviously, with some quick turnarounds that uh, you know the T Twenty series, and obviously play have one day off and then play again. So it's important to try recover and and start again on uh, Sunday, whenever the next game is. Uh, from Vimal Kumar, uh, yeah. Do you think that the kind of wicket, the way you guys batted, in that was short of maybe on a par score with 10 15 uh, I think it was probably a par score. Um, I thought we did some really good stuff with the ball, um, you know, certainly at the start and, and also through the middle, being able to, able to take wickets. And, and I thought they batted really well. Um, you know, they had a couple of cameos throughout the innings to, to get them just over 300. But uh, we certainly saw when uh, Washington Sunder was bowling and Chahar that, you know, there was a little bit of turn there every now and again. So, um, yeah, I think for us it was just about trying to build partnerships and we got away to a reasonably good start. We obviously lost a couple of wickets, but um, yeah, obviously the partnership that, that me and Kane had was was really important and uh, we sort of fed off each other a little bit at times. Um, you know, so it was nice to nice to be there at the end. But, uh, yeah, I think it was sort of a pass score and, um, yeah, when you have a big partnership like that, it certainly certainly helps at the back end of, a, of, an, of an innings. How was young Imran Malik's uh, bowling? He was making his ODI debut. Yeah, he was, he was pretty quick. Um, obviously, we've seen that um, throughout uh, the IPL. Um, Kane and Glenn Phillips have played with him at, uh, at the Sunrises, so um, yeah, we had a little bit of information there. But uh, yeah, he's certainly a, a young, quick bowler that, that bowled with some good gas tonight. So um, yeah, I'm sure he'll be happy to get his first game under his belt. Was it a deliberate attempt to go after Yuzendra Chahar because he, he was a 
spike ball of him that did well in the T20 series as well? Uh, no, I wouldn't say it was. Uh, um, certainly didn't plan on. You know things happening that way. I guess for us, you know, we we do our scouting on, on their bowlers, and and you sort sort of have plans around how you like to play each each bowler. And uh, you know, we've we played India a little bit over the the last few years, so we've got a little bit of information. And uh, it's just about trying, to, as I said, trying to react to each ball and, and try to stick, stick to my strengths. And uh, you know, managed to do that well tonight. Couple more guys, or Tom. Chambers scored in the international century for about seven hundred days. Was there any talk out there about yeah. getting him to free figures? Uh, no, um, I think we all know Cal, uh, Kane uh, pretty well, but he's uh, he's certainly not about the milestones. Uh, it was just about trying to trying to get across the line, and um, you know it was nice that we uh, we managed to do that together. Last one over here, uh, Tom. What's your kind of approach during the T Twenty series, or during the teams playing so much T Twenty? Are you kind of watching closely and, and thinking about what you can add? Are you, are you good to get out here? Uh, no, I guess for me it's just about enjoying, um, you know, enjoying watching. Um, you know, I haven't played a, a lot of T20 cricket um, domestically for Canterbury, and um, yeah, just just enjoy watching the guys go about things. And uh, I guess for me as a batter, I'm always trying to to improve my skills, whatever format it may be. And um, yeah, so just trying to trying to work on things. You know, when, when I get the chance, and obviously we're, there's a little bit of white ball cricket uh, at the moment for us, and to so move into red ball cricket in a month's time. So uh, you know, you're always chopping and changing, but um, I guess as a batter, you're always trying to develop um, skills, no matter what format it is. One last one. When you were on 99, is any kind of pressure, you know, you're hitting the milestone. So how are you, uh, because you're hitting the boundaries before that, and so it's in your mind, what's, what was going on when you were 99? Uh, yeah, just trying to watch the ball as best as possible, really. Um, I guess there, there's the bigger picture of the game, uh, the game situation, and uh, you know we still had a decent amount of time to bat. Um, you know, once once I did get a hundred, so um, yeah, I guess it's important that yeah, you, you try start again. And obviously, there's a, a nice special moment there. But um, yeah, as I said, the bigger picture is uh, obviously trying to win the game and, and get across the line. So um, yeah, once that happened, it was about trying to refocus and, and start again.